No, so I, I can't even believe that Chad would still want to be with Whitney. She's his sister, for God's sake. I don't understand it either. I mean, you, Eve, Julian. We've all told Chad that what he wants is not only icky, it's impossible. And Chad's contention that he and Whitney can be together without being together, it's just, it's naive. Yeah. Well, that's why I brought Father Lonigan here, you know? I thought maybe he could get through to Chad when we couldn't, but Padre struck out, too. <sighs> you know, this whole thing has Larry Winger written all over it. Well, you know what? Chad can think what he wants, okay? But there's no way in hell that Whitney's gonna agree to go live with him. And I'm gonna go back out there. I'm gonna finish my marriage proposal to Whitney. She's gonna say yes. We're gonna tie the knot. I'm gonna raise our child the way it should be. End of story. No, I can't allow this. Whitney, you can't do this. What are you thinking? You're gonna risk having yet a second baby with your own brother? Eve, dear, your slip is showing. Mother? Eve. What are you saying? Are you saying that I'm really the father of Whitney's baby? Luis, mijo, estás bien? No. No, Mom, I'm really worried about Sheridan. Father Lonigan talked to her at the church, and she's really upset. And I'm just really worried about her. I've called her, and I can't find her anywhere. Well, Mijo, she was very upset with you before. Just give her some time to calm down. Well, I know. That's the thing. She's never been this angry with me before. Mama, she totally blames me for her mother leaving again. Yeah, well, I'm afraid she does. And Father Lonigan's worried that she might hurt herself. Really? Like she's suicidal? Oh, well, he didn't say that outright, but Beth did the last time I saw her, and Sheridan's really upset again over losing a baby. I don't think you have anything to worry about. Sharon's not going to hurt herself, as angry as she is with you right now. She loves you way too much to do anything foolish. Thanks, Beth, for letting me stay here tonight. Oh, what are friends for? With friends like you, Beth, enemies need not apply. But, um, why do you want to stay here? Yeah, hunk. Why not be cuddled up at home with your hunk of hunk of burn and love, Louise? Louise and I, we, we had a horrible fight, and I just, I don't want to see him again tonight. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, me too, hun. I feel very sorry for you. Well, listen, um, why don't you just sit right down, and I'll get you an afghan, and you can get all cuddly, okay? If Beth has her way, it'll end up being a shroud. Please, don't go to any trouble on my account. No problem. I see that you will gleam in your eye, Missy. Now, don't tell me you were planning to get to you, Sheridan. Listen, you said that my plot to make Sheridan's murder look like a suicide wouldn't work because she wouldn't be able to stay here long enough to make it look believable. Guess what? Poor, despondent Sheridan is going to spend the night here. And when we wake up in the morning, she won't. She'll be down. I would hold the hand of the one who could lead me places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet Well, under the circumstances, I don't think Martha Stewart could have done much better. You know, with everything going on, I keep forgetting to tell you how amazing it is to watch you play Happy Homemaker. <laughs> I'm not playing Fox. I actually really like this new me. I feel like what I do, it matters. 
just, I wish you'd say yes, you know, so that we could be a family. I want you to be happy, Fox. You and we. <sighs> what? Something else must have happened, because they all look really upset. Oh, my God. Did you just say that I really was Whitney's baby's father? Go on, say it. Whitney's baby will be able to call Chad Daddy or Uncle. <laughs> when do I look? The plot thickens. What happened? Well, uh, Chad was pressing Whitney to consider his idea of a future together when he couldn't take it anymore. She erupted and she, she, uh, misspoke. How so? My mother just said that Whitney couldn't be with me because she couldn't risk having a second baby with her own brother. What? You know, it sounds like Eve is saying that I really am the father of Whitney's baby. Oh, my God. <sighs> Bloody hell. I really wanted that cup of coffee. <sighs> oh, thank you, my darling. Excuse me. It's not true, right? Is Chad the father of your baby? Damn it. Still no answer. Just uh, calmate, okay? Because um, Sheridan probably went for a walk to clear her head after your disagreement over Catherine. Yeah, but Sheridan still blames me for driving her mother away. I don't know, maybe I was so angry over Papa leaving us that I lumped the two together. Why don't you explain that to her when you see her, when you find her? I'm sure that she will understand. I hope so. Luis. I think that your father's leaving. Well, I think it scared you more than I realized. <laughs> Okay, where's that coming from? It's just that sometimes the fear of losing someone we love, it drives us to, to keep them so close that we keep them under our thumb instead of our wing. I think losing your father made you so desperate not to lose Sheridan that you might, you might have smothered her without realizing. Well, Ma, I was just trying to protect her, okay? I didn't want her mother to hurt her again. Okay, Luis, but... She was willing to give her mother a second chance. You weren't, but was it really your place to tell her she couldn't? Well, you obviously think it wasn't. Do you remember what Father Lonergan said to Precious when she tried to keep you from marrying Sheridan? Precious, come here. Come on. Hey, listen to me, all right? Hey, Precious, it's true, okay? I'm marrying Sheridan. I know it's hard, but sometimes love means letting go. But sometimes love means letting go. Right. That includes you and Sheridan, and, and even your father and myself. You and Papa? What happened after I left the airport? Well, your father and I discussed the implications of Catherine leaving Harmony and never coming back. Are you still thinking about forgiving him? Yes, I am. Forgiveness is a cornerstone of our faith. We, oh God, we have to try so hard to forgive the ones that hurt us, especially our loved ones. And your father's still my husband. And I, oh God, I need to let go of this anger that I feel toward your father for leaving us. The same thing that you need to do with Sheridan's mother. So you're saying that I need to forgive Sheridan's mother for everything that she's done to our family. If you want Sheridan to forgive you, yes. How are you gonna do it, buddy? How are you gonna make Sheridan's death look like a suicide this time? I am going to wake up, wash your sleeping pills, oh. and put them in her teeth. 
Oh, yeah, that worked so well before. It will, as long as you and Precious don't try to switch the cuffs. <laughs> uh, here you go, Sheridan. Oh, thank you. Um, is there anything else I could get you? Some tea, maybe? Uh, no, no, thank you. Um, you know, maybe coming here wasn't such a good idea. Maybe I should leave. No, 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 no. Listen, it's late. You're upset. If you felt uncomfortable here before, please let me make it up to you. OK. Good. All right, Precious, you go check Mother's diaper. And I'm going to talk to Sheridan. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. Could you just do it? <sighs> All right, listen. Do you feel up to talking about your fight with Luis? Oh, precious! Your hands are cold! Well, when I left earlier, when Martin called to tell me that my mother was leaving on the crane jet, it turns out that Rebecca stowed Gwen away on the same jet with Teresa's baby. They left Harmony, too? Yes. My mother, Gwen, <sighs> Teresa's baby, they're all gone. And the note that my mother left said that, that she was leaving for good and she didn't want to come between Luis and me. Hmm. So that's what the fight was about. Well, this is this is all Luis's fault. I mean, he's always blamed my mother for, for making it seem like she's the reason that his father walked out on his family all those years ago. And what Luis doesn't understand is that I love my mother no matter what. And I've always felt like he's been making me choose between the two of them. Hmm. And my mother's felt that same way, and so that's why she's left. I'm just, I'm so angry at Luis, and I still am. Yeah, gosh, I just, I hate, I hate it that you and Luis are having problems. Thank you for being so understanding. I mean, oh. you, your mother, and Precious. Well, you know what Precious and I always say? That will kill you with kindness. <laughs> Thank you for being such a great friend to both Luis and me. Fiend is more like it. I really need your advice. Oh, um, no. I, I don't want to make a bad situation oh, worse. Trust me, bad things could not get any worse between Luis and me. Well, OK. So what should I do? I mean, should I give up on having a relationship with my mother so I can have them with Luis? Or should I just tell Luis to get over it or get lost? I mean, please, help me. What should I do? for advice, huh? I can almost understand Sheridan wanting her mother back in her life, but what I don't understand is how did Sheridan expect me to handle it? You know, Catherine ruined Sheridan's childhood, and not to mention the fact that she dragged Papa away from our family. I know. Eso es verdad, mijo. But that's where forgiveness comes in. We have to practice what the church teaches us. Yeah, but aren't some things unforgivable? Like what Papa and Catherine did? Bueno, Luis, everyone makes mistakes. You know, and everyone deserves a second chance, especially if they regret what they've done. Then count out Papa and Catherine, because they've been making the same mistake every day for years. But they obviously regret it now. Maybe. Your father has tried to make amends, Luis. He wants us back in his life. He wants to do whatever it takes to, to win us back. I don't care. I don't want to have anything to do with him. You're angry at... You are angry at your father because you don't approve of what he did, right? Just like you're angry with Sheridan because you don't approve of her loving her mother after what her mother did. But love, mijo? Love means offering forgiveness and understanding when it's really hard to. Is she talking about me and Sheridan now, or you and Papa? Both. Your father told me that if it weren't for Catherine, we'd be together right now. We'd be a family. <laughs> OK, so what? Now that Catherine's gone, you're just willing to forgive Papa for everything that he's done to us? 
I'm willing to try. You know, before I give you any advice, I really need to know exactly what you said to Louise. Oh, it's, just, it's, it's too horrible to repeat. All I can say is that it was the worst fight that we've ever had. And I, I still can't believe how dismissive Luis was about my feelings to my mother. I mean, he knows how hard it was for me when my mother died and, and how difficult it was for me to grow up without her. And then to have her back, I, Luis all but ordered me to stay away from her. And I, I don't know, is it just me? It, it just doesn't seem fair to me. I, am, am I wrong for wanting to have my mother in my life? You know, Sheridan, you and Louise are both my friends. Maybe I should just keep my opinions to myself. Beth, really, anything you say will stay in my confidence. Promise? I promise. So what should I do? Should I stand my ground and, and risk losing Louise? Or should I just promise to never see my mother again if she comes back to Harmony? Oh, whatever Beth says, Sheridan should do the opposite. Fox, Chad, please, just relax. Eve simply misspoke. Are you sure? Well, yes, yeah, she was understandably upset. Because Chad kept saying that he and... Whitney should be together. Chad, stop asking Whitney to live with you, okay? It's weird. No, never mind that right now. I want to know what my mother meant. Yes, I misspoke. I didn't mean to, <laughs> to say that Whitney shouldn't risk having a second baby with Chad. I didn't want to imply that Chad was this baby's father. I just meant that Whitney shouldn't take the chance of having a second baby with Chad because it would be horrible. Oh, it would be ghastly. And as everyone knows who's at the hospital, I already told you that Fox is Whitney's baby, mm. his father. And Eve wouldn't lie about that, now would she? Mm? Yeah, I'm sure Tabitha's right. All this crazy talk from you has everybody reeling here. I'm sure that's why that you uh, <clears throat> misspoke, right? Exactly. The hell's the matter with you, huh? You still want to be with your sister? You know, it's not just me. Whitney wants to be with me, too. <laughs> <laughs> Ask her if you don't believe me. Yeah, I think I will. Listen, we need to talk. Um, you know what? If I could just have a minute to myself, tonight has been so stressful, OK? Right. Okay, you know. <clears throat> as soon as Whitney stops shaking from, from Chad's latest insanity, I'll, I'll ask her to marry me again, and uh, all our problems will be solved, right? Yeah. We have news for Fox, don't we, my little witchling? Even if Whitney says yes to being his wife, their troubles won't be over by a long shot. Oh, no. They'll just simmer for a bit, and then they'll finally ignite. <laughs> Fine. You try and forgive Papa for what he did to us, OK? Because I can't. Huh. You can't? Well, you won't. Look, why are we even talking about him? It's Sheridan that I'm worried about. Forgiveness, Luis. Martin wants ours, and you want Sheridan's. Look, you can't compare the two. Mama, nothing justifies a man running out on his family. Well, we still don't really know why he left. All he's been able to tell us is that he had no other choice. All right, least. look, can we please just not get into that again? Uh, I still think your father is trying to protect us the same way he was when he left town. How was leaving us protecting us, especially when he ran off with Catherine? I don't know, Mijo, but I have had time to deal with you. The shock of your father's return with his new face, his unwavering devotion to us. And I am reassured that your father is still the good man he's always been. I can see the pain in his eyes, Louise, the torture that leaving us has caused him. And deep in my heart, when I look past the anger 
past all the hurt, the upset, the unanswered questions, I know that your father left Harmony to protect us. That for him to vanish without a trace really, truly was what was best for us, his family. All right. You know what? For the sake of argument, let's say that that's true. I still don't understand how Sheridan can defend her mother's position to run off with another woman's husband, or how leaving Sheridan at Alistair's mercy was somehow protecting her. So, Beth, what should I do? You're a woman. A nasty, crazy one. What should I do about Louise and my mother? You love Louise, right? Oh. God, yes. I, I, I love Luis with all of my heart and soul. I just, I never thought I would ever meet a man as wonderful as him. You know, and the way he holds me, you know, when I'm in his arms, I just feel so safe and special. And, oh, God, the way that he makes love to me, just. Okay, oh. okay. Uh, you love your mother too, right? Oh, yes. I mean, I, I love my mother so much. I know that she made mistakes, but. I buy that my father abused her to the point where she had to leave him the way that she did. You know, it was hard for me growing up without her. I always thought that she was dead, but now that I know that she's alive, I just, I want to make up for lost time. Yeah. I mean, the bond between a mother and daughter is just really special. Hey, in this house, it's crazy glue. And then look at Luis and, and Pilar. They're really close. And I think that's wonderful. Well, so it's okay then for Louise to tell you you can't be close to your mother? Uh-oh. I mean, if Louise can tell you that you can't be close to Catherine, I'm sorry, my opinion, but I think you have every right to tell him that he can't ever see Pilar again. You want to forgive Papa, you can, OK? But I can't. Because I remember the pain that you went through when he disappeared, and now you suffered. All right, so then what you're saying is that you wish your father had never left us. Of course. Of course I wish he never left us. So that's where your anger comes from. You hate that your life is not what it could have been had your father stayed. But Mama, nothing good came from Papa leaving us, okay? Nothing. And that's why I still hate him. What if something good did come from your father's absence? Would you forgive him then? I can't tell Luis to never see Pilar again. But it's okay for Luis to tell you that you can't see your mother? Well, that's just different, you know? Pilar has never been anything but good to Luis. She's never hurt him the way that my mother has hurt me. And not only did I have to suffer in her absence, but Luis blames her for luring his father into disappearing with her, leaving his family high and dry. Well, seems like you've already decided you're going to do what Luis wants and agree never to see your mother again, so. What? Do you want me to drive you back to the cottage so you can see Luis and tell him he was right and you were wrong? No, no, Beth, that's not what I mean. I'm not saying that I agree with Luis. I'm just saying that his relationship with his mother is far different than mine with my mother. Oh, OK, so you do want to be close to your mother despite what Luis wants. Yes, I mean, I love my mother, but but at the same time, what if she never comes back to Harmony? What if I never see her again? Then the whole point becomes moot. What if she does come back? What if she calls you, wants to meet you someplace? I guess I hadn't considered that. Nothing's really solved. If you don't, what should I do? Well, uh, you asked me for my advice, OK? So I'm going to give it to you. Here we go. Like I said, the bond between a mother and a child is super strong. Like you and your mother, like Luis and his mother, me and my mother. It's a good thing that Beth is not attached to a lie detector. Oh, 
Thank you, Officer Simeon. Well, Ms. Wallace, are you ready to begin? Yes. I have no reason to lie. Very well. Did you hide the gin? Okay. Yes, I hid the gin. Right? Are you a good, fake mother to Marty? Yes. Right? Are you a scheming psycho who lives to hurt me? No. I wonder where Beth did hide that gin. I mean, if, if someone tried to stop me from being close to my mother, I would have to assume that they didn't love me enough to want me to be happy. I just don't think that Luis is like that. I, I'm sorry, I hate to say it, but you have to. Sheridan, Luis says he loves you, but now he's gonna make you choose between him and, and, and Catherine? Look, there's only one thing you can do. What? You can never see Luis again. For the last time, son, living together with your sister as a couple is wrong. We'd be platonic. Well, initially, perhaps, but as Father Lonergan said, eventually the desire to be together as a man and a woman would win out. Father Lonergan is celibate. I will be, too. Father Lonergan is not in love with a woman, Chad. You are your sister, and it's wrong. Now, what's wrong is being kept away from the woman I love by people who don't understand that Whitney is the one who's in love with me. Look, I know what a mess this whole thing is, and thank you for covering for me again. Whitney, we can't keep this a secret forever. Sooner or later, Fox and Chad are going to find out that Chad is the father of your baby. They can never find out. Never say never, Whitney. This baby will probably be born with a host of health problems related to incest, if it even comes to terms since you don't eat and you don't take your vitamins. Okay, I don't want to think about that right now, okay? Look, Fox is going to ask me to marry him again. What do I do? Well, you can't be with Chad. There's no way for you to justify uh, taking a baby that's supposedly Fox's and raising it with your brother. Whitney, no. It's a pity conjuring togas would give us away as witches. <laughs> How better to watch a modern-day Greek tragedy at its most dramatic moment, huh? <laughs> mm. Wouldn't you okay if we talk now? Yes, yes, of course. Mm. <clears throat> um. Right, so anyway, this is really isn't what I had in mind, you know, with everybody watching. Yeah. Oh. Never mind us, dear. <laughs> Thank you, that was nice. Um, <clears throat> uh, anyway, Whitney, uh, you know, with Chad pushing himself on you and everything, I wanted to. Well, what I planned on doing was coming over here and making my case, and then just asking you to do what you want. I just, I just love you. I just do. And ever since that night I heard you singing at the Blue Note, I fell in love with you. And, and I've tried to ask myself, why you, why me, why us? I don't know. I don't know the answers to that. I just know that, to me, you're perfect. So I'm going to get down on my knees and I'm going to ask you one more time. Will you do me the honor? being my wife. Will you marry me? Just say yes. Nothing good came from Papa leaving us. Nothing. I remember we 
barely scraped by week to week. And I'll bet if Papa had never left us, he'd be the mother of four college grads and Paloma would be working on her degree right now. Now, all of our lives would have been so much better. Would have been so different. I agree with you, Mijo. Our lives would have been different. But I don't know that they would have been better. Well, how could they not be? Because if your father had stayed, you probably would be married to Beth right now. Would that be better than having met and fallen in love with Sheridan? Beth, I could never not see Luis again. This is why Beth never wrote an advice column. Look, I know what I'm suggesting. It's extreme, and I would never totally expect you to, you know, not see Luis, but you, you gotta get your own life with your own friends, people who love you, whether Luis approves of them or not. You're right, and I appreciate your honesty, which is why I have to be honest with you now, because there's still one person that I wanna have in my life that is a problem for both you and Luis. Oh? Who? Oh. Marty. I still can't stop thinking that he is my little boy, and I'm so sorry. I, I've tried, but I just can't stop thinking of him that way. So much for letting you live. Well, I, I know you've had a really hard time losing your baby and Antonio, your mother. Yeah, it's it's been really hard, and... You know, I, I know that Luis keeps telling me that Marty is your son and that I should believe him, but there are just times that I can't. I'm sorry. And, and you, Beth, I mean, all the times that I've accused you of stealing my baby. Can you ever forgive me? Yeah. Of course I'll forgive you. Thank you. Thank you for being so kind and, and understanding. <laughs> oh, just glad to help. You have, believe me. What are you doing? I'm gonna call Luis. I'm gonna tell him I want to get things back on track, that I, I don't want to fight anymore. You know, I, I just, I love him so much, and I can't stand the thought of spending one night away from him. No, you can't call Luis. Why, Beth? Why can't I call Luis? So, I mean, come on, what do you say? Will you marry me? No, Fox. What did she say? Yeah, honey, come on, speak up. Even I didn't hear you. No, Fox, I won't marry you. You're right. You see? If your father had stayed, Miho, you would have gone to college, married Beth, just like you planned, and Marty would have brothers and sisters right now, as, as for Sheridan. Well, by the time Sheridan came back, I would have already been married. Now, who knows, maybe our paths would have never crossed because I would have never become a cop. You see, your relationship with Sheridan is something good that came from your father having left us. Yeah, the worst thing that happened in my life led to the best thing that ever happened in my life. Meeting Sheridan and falling in love with her. See, Mijo, so what I'm asking you is this. Would you rather have the life that your father Stain would have afforded? A safe, secure childhood, stable, married to Beth, or the unstable existence that we all struggled with and Sheridan? Why don't you want me to talk to Luis, Beth? Because, um, because fighting is exhausting, emotionally and physically draining. And I'm, I'm sure that Luis is wiped out too. You should just get a good night's sleep and then talk to him, okay? Okay, yeah, I, okay. you're right, I, I'm in no shape to work things out tonight. 
Good. Um, well, the guest room's all set up, so go get settled, and I'll come up with some tea. Becky is planning to kill Sheridan after all. I don't know, Beth. You know, I really don't want to put you out. Maybe I should just go stay at the mansion. No, no. I mean, Luis might see you. Just, just stay. You're right. I am tired. Oh, OK. All right. Well, good night. Good night, Mrs. Wallace. Precious. Good night, sweetheart. This is perfect. I told Precious you were going to try and kill Sheridan again. What choice do I have? Precious, make a list. I mean it, Mother. Sheridan still thinks that Marty is her son, and she's obviously going to go back to Louise, even though he's trying to keep her away from Catherine. It, it, it just won't do. So you'll do in poor Sheridan? I'm going to give her a whole bunch of these. In the morning, when we wake up, we're going to go into the guest room and act shocked see her dead with this empty bottle of pills and a note next to the bed saying that she just couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's pretend that we're shocked. Practice shock. Come on, mother. Come on. Good, good. Okay, precious, come on. Pretend you're shocked. That's so good. Okay, okay. Beth, you, you are evil and crazy. Sheridan is going to die. And I will never be considered the murderer. Oh. Then I'm going to get Luis to marry me. Me, Marty's mother. In your dreams, Missy. Oh, it's true. Be a dream come true when Sheridan commits suicide. Instead of being angry towards your father, you owe him a debt of gratitude. My kid sister's gone from being little Miss Pris to the next Paris Hilton. I'm gonna figure out a way to get rid of Sheridan. Sheridan, where are you?